All right, Shalom. Shalom. We're going to start off giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Uh, peace and blessings and many salutations unto all you sincere Akim across the globe. All right, just teaching this word. Okay. Uh, you have the brother Yah Rock. I'm Lamar Moff. All right, from uh, the GMS Houston camp. Right, we wanted to do a, uh, a quick, a quick hit, you know, Lord willing, and uh, basically, man, just going into the times, you know, uh, you see, we we in the time of, uh, hey, we at the end of this current age, all right, the current this current kingdom, all right, so uh, yeah, you know, we supposed to be measuring the times, being circumspect, all right, watching unto prayer, all right, so. Uh, we just gonna start. Go ahead and start that. Uh, First Peter four. Okay. First. Uh, this is First Peter four and verse seven. It say, "Be." It's just like it say, "But the end of all things is at hand." Be ye therefore sober, and watch into prayer. Right. It says the end of all things is at hand. All right. Which is meaning the end of this current age. All right. The end of the uh, the wicked. Being so, uh, being Esau Edom, the so-called white man, all right, the end of his rulership, all right. You see, these, this, these are the times that we in, man. So we ought to be sober, all right. Now, of course, you know we're going into being sober-minded, not being caught up in the distractions of, of the world, right. all right, or the distractions of the bread and circus. You know what I'm saying? But uh, when it said watch, you know, watching unto prayer, man. All right, you don't, you know, because hey, the the uh, the day of the Lord is at hand, man, and it's gonna be a day of judgment, man. All right, uh, get a Luke twenty one twenty nine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had one. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, bring out the uh, precept. Because in the times that we're in, you, like you say, we need to be on our watch, okay? And it ain't time, you know, like the scripture says, it's a time for everything, every season, have a time. So we're in a time now that we should be on our watch, okay, and, and, and see what's going on. Because this devil, like you say in our, our Revelation, the 12th chapter, verse 12, the devil coming down with great wrath, because that's what he's about to do, mm -hmm. knowing that he had but a short time, roughly paraphrasing. All right, so you want to make sure that you 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 not as the scripture. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna get out the scripture and, and bring it out. Uh, I wanted to go to First Thessalonians uh, five, chapter five and verse six, and I'm gonna start at the top. We say, therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Okay, being sober minded and watch. And part of the watch is seeing that what's going on. Measure that time diligent, the scripture say. Right. Okay? Which is going into seeing these prophecy unfold itself. Okay? And, he, and then we coming into some very evil times, man. So, yeah, we should be on our watch to be sober-minded. I mean, spiritually, man. All right? I'm going to read verse 7, uh, seven two. It say, For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. And that's two thirds of our people, man. Drunken off what? The philosophy of this devil, man. Okay, who taking but who taking who partakers in this wicked ass kingdom, man. Uh -huh. All right. And I'm gonna get this last one of uh, verse eight. He say, But let us who are of the day be sober, put on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a hammock, the hope of salvation. And at the end of the day, that's what we hoping for to be delivered, man. Okay, right. about this wicked kingdom, man. And don't be caught up in the judgment that two thirds of our people are gonna be caught up in, man. Right. Okay. Well, okay, that was it. Anything? What you gonna pull? What you get? Luke twenty-one and twenty-nine. Okay, Luke twenty-one. Yeah, verse twenty-nine. Yeah, Luke Oh, it's like I got Luke. It's like I got Luke twenty-one, twenty-nine. Luke 21 and 29, he say, and he spoke, he spake 
to them a parable. Behold, the fig tree and all the trees, verse 30, when they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own your own selves that summer is now 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 at hand. Right. And this is a, a the Lord Yahweh Shah by the way. Alright. We'll go ahead. Right. Okay. Verse 31. It says, So likewise ye, when ye see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of the most high is now is is it's like it is nigh. nigh at hand. Right. So when we see these things come to pass, all right, the, uh, as the brother had mentioned in all the prophecies, man, all right, the uh, the wars, the rumors of wars, all right, we seeing uh, the, the economy is on the decline. Right. Right. We seeing the Esau transitioning to that all digital uh, system, you know, right. which that's prophecy. That, uh, leading to the uh, MOTB. Right. All right. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, famine. Yeah, famine. Food shortages. Ooh, yeah. Uh, gas prices shooting up. Right. You see? Uh, the love of many waxing cold. Right. You know what I'm saying? People uh, getting into it. You know, that the, the, the uh, road rage demon is real heavy yeah. out here in Houston. God, man. God. I actually did a video on that. Son. Speaking on that, yeah, that's real heavy out here in Houston, man. That road rage demon, man. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's from kids to grown ups being killed this year. You know, in that road rage, uh, in that road rage out here in Houston. But also sedition. You know, if you go mm -hmm. look through what's going on through the, out throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, you have these other countries and nations seditioning, okay? Really meaning they uh, rebellions towards their government, man. Right. You know, a lot of that is going on. Uproars of people throughout the four corners of the earth, man. This is going on. And as the brothers mentioned, that's in Matthew the 24th chapter, man. We're hearing room, uh, wars and rumors of wars. You know, nations against the nation, kingdom against kingdom, phantom, pestilence. You know, the monkey pox just come out. Yeah. So, yeah, all these showing that we in the end times, man. All right. You see? So read uh, verse 31 again. Okay, verse 31, Luke 21, 31. So likewise ye, when ye see these things come to pass, ye know that the kingdom of the Most High is now at hand. Right, the kingdom of heaven is now at hand, man. All right. Uh, you no know scripture says our salvation is nearer than what we believe. Right. All right. right. Go ahead. Right. Verse 32. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Verse 34, and take heed to yourself, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfacing, surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life and so that they come upon you unawares. Right. So right. the Lord said, take heed to yourselves. All right. That your, uh, lest at any time your mind be occupied in, in partying. Right. Being in the, you know, in the spirit of mirth. All right. Hold uh, that uh, Ezekiel 21 and uh, verse 9. All right. So, right. Examine yourselves. Take heed. All right, don't be caught up in, 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 in partying, you know what I'm saying, or the cares of this life. All right, you see, trying to, uh, you know, cling on to the things of this world, man, instead of preparing yourself for the day of the Lord. Right. All right. And that's why I brought up the uh, in first Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, man. Don't sleep. Let them be drunk to be drunk at night. And that's all part of that, man. Uh -huh. Being part of this world. Drinking, party in that, in that um, uh, in that party mindset, that safety spirit, like you, everything's okay, yeah. type of spirit. You know what the scriptures say, uh, that peace and safety, then sudden destruction. Right, they should say peace and safety. Yeah, yeah it's like it. But sudden yeah, destruction. Paraphrasing it. God. And that's the spirit these people in right now. They think everything is, is okay. You know, but we'll go ahead, like. 
right? So uh, don't be caught up in it in that in way. <laughs> don't be caught up in those things so that they uh, come upon you as unawares, man. All right. So uh, go ahead with that, Ezekiel. Ezekiel 21 and verse 9. It says, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus said the Lord, say, A sword, a sword is sharpened and also ferish. Verse 10. And it is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is ferish, ferish. So like you were pronouncing it right. It's, it is ferish. That it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? It contented is a it contempt contempt the rod of my son as every tree. Right. So it said a sword is sharpened. Alright. So a sword is coming. Should we then make mirth? Alright. So that sword is that that uh destruction, man. Right. All right, from the from the heavenly Father, man. All right, the Lord is finna. Uh, hey, man. Uh, bring that bring that heat upon this place, so to speak. Right. You know what I mean? Hey, literally too. You know what that the thermonuclear destruction. All right. Ultimately, that's gonna be the. You know what I'm saying that that major. Uh, you know, one of the major prophecies of this place being destroyed by that heat. You see. But that sword is coming, man. All right, Esau coming in as a as a flood. Right. Right. Oh, it's another thing, man. You you know you, you touched on it earlier. You know, our people so caught up in, in the BS. You know they they not aware of of uh, this Satan's devices, man. Right. You see, hey, with that shooting that just happened, right? Is you know all the stages being set for Esau to have a, a reason to uh, come down harder with the you know on the guns. Yeah, right. Exactly. So uh, as we was talking, yeah. you know, here in Houston, I'm not sure, you know, about the whole state of Texas, but I know in Houston, you can open carry no license. Yeah, it's, it's Texas. The whole state of Texas, state right? Of Texas, yeah. So that incident uh, that took place was uh, was in Texas, man. Right. Right. So it ain't no coincidence whether it was staged or not. You know, what I'm saying it's all done by the will of Heavenly Father, but you know it's. Now Esau is saying we gotta we gotta uh, get gun laws more stricter now. You see? Yeah, and that's uh, all the part of this this devil plan anyway. So like I'm yeah. cutting you off, but no, you can. it's all the part of his plan, man. Because this devil want to roll in his NWO, man, to right. be on the totally control. And the brother mentioned to uh, to implement the Karama, man, the MOTV. Mm -hmm. Okay, this what this this whole devil plan is, man. With this godlike complex, man, to be in control of every human being is walking on is walking on this earth, man. Right. And if you and he really coming after the Israelites, man. Yeah. You Israelite, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. This devil got a, a perpetual hatred towards us, man. He would do anything to try to destroy us, man. Okay. And our people is in La La Land, that darkness, man, that drunkenness state, man. And not even even preparing themselves. And they ain't gonna have no excuse because the prophet is, is telling you, man. Right. Okay. Right. So yeah, with that said, go back to the uh, Ezekiel. Okay, we'll go uh, back to verse ten. Time. Okay, uh, Ezekiel twenty-one and ten. It is it is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is fabrished that it may glitter. Shall we then make mirth? It content the rod of my son as every tree verse 11 and he had given it to be ferished that it may be handled the sword is sharpened and it is ferished to give it into the hand of the slayer mm. and that's Esau Edom the so called white man okay he said he's going to make a slower slaughter man yeah. Okay, and that's in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Jeremiah 30, verse 7, man. Okay, the brothers say eventually he's going to come in like a flood, man. They represent them troops, man. He's going to have martial law going on. Right. You know, uh, you know race wars, gonna, uh, civil war going to break out. Because you have the, the, the right wing, man. They're they not going to let these devils take, take their gun from them. 
Yeah, you know, so yeah, yeah. It, it gonna be civil war. It gonna be all, all, all the chaos, man. And Arctic out here, man. Yeah. And if you don't have the cover, you all about to see my shot, man. You gonna be caught up in this slow slaughter, man. Yeah. Okay. Con, that was it, right? Yeah, that was it. Con, so uh, back to Luke. Pick, pick up at uh, verse thirty-four. Okay. Chapter two. Uh, it's like a Saint Luke twenty-one and thirty-four, and it reads. And take heed to yourself, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with serpentine and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that they come upon you unawares. Mm -hmm. Verse 35, for as a snapshot, it come up on them that dwell on the face of the earth, it's like on the face of the whole earth, Verse 36, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Right. All right. So watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. All right. And the stand before the Son of Man, Yahweh Shah, man. Right. All right. So these are the times that we in, man. We supposed to be uh, watching and praying in hopes of uh, being uh, receiving salvation, man. Right. All right. Because terrible times is coming on on the planet Earth, man. All right. Starting where well, the Lord said He was gonna start with His sanctuary. All right, which is Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Right. Okay. Jacob's trouble, man. All right. So, uh, yeah, man. You got any uh, thing to add, brother? No, that, that was, well, I'm going to end with this here, man. Because when we get to watching and praying, I'm going to end with uh, 1 Peter 5 and 8. They say, be sober, be vigilant, mean to watch, because the adversary of the devil, he saw Edom, the so-called white man, as a roaring lion, walker is about seeking who he may devour, man. Mm -hmm. And like I say, man, this devil main objective too. Try to devour us Israelites, man. By any means, man. So you need to be sober and be vigilant, man. Watch. Okay, along with prayer, man. And and, and man, just and have faith, man. Especially in these times, man. Build up in faith, man. But we know two thirds of our people ain't gonna listen, so we're right. gonna see a lot of our people, man, get judged in that time, man. Right. You know? Yeah. So hey, uh, you know, that's it, man, you know. Um with that, once again, we want to give our praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings and salutations to all you sincere brothers. To the next one, Shalom. Shalom.